I said I need a slope. It's best for it to be a slope, to be able to see the form. And there was a slope on the hill and it was uh, unused. So when there was this big hillside that was a part of the Japanese garden available and we were thinking about you know, how we could best use this in a way that really engaged with the rest of the Japanese garden. David's work in this planting you know, rose very, very high, at least to my level of consciousness. And in many ways, David's work is sympathetic um, to the process of making and maintaining a Japanese garden because it's about not nature in its raw form, but it's about the manipulation of nature over time. And I was thrilled when I saw it because it, it had more of a dome form than I, than I had imagined. There were pictures, I had imagined something much more of a straight form, but it's actually this wonderful hump, you know, it's a dome, isn't it?